I think I've explained it earlier. Uh, we have a need for people to find a, somebody to share a full-time child care space with uh, one or two days a week, perhaps. Um, to find that match, we figure people will be looking for uh, locations, one or more. I want to pick some locations that my child might want to attend. They have to be in the age range that's served by that center. Uh, and you have to be able to say which days of the week you want to have it. Another important thing that we discussed was the, the need for a start date, and it actually needs to be a future date uh, for the most part because uh, there are long waiting lists for some of these things, and often uh, your family uh, plans are in the future, especially if you're registering when you're still pregnant. So uh, those are the kinds of fields that people would use in, in a query, and we envision creating something like a situation wanted, a want ad kind of thing, uh, and you could either I think we discussed the idea of creating a query first. You make a profile, and you then push the search button, see if you find anybody. No, then just save your thing as a, something that somebody else could find. Right. So you got your situation wanted as a save or a query, and you could also say I'm, I've got a situ situation available if you're a childcare operator. Second. What data sets would we use? I think this one's fairly straightforward. The the data set that I've described today, listing all the licensed child care centers in Toronto. It has all the attributes, and I think we discussed today some additional ones we might want, but uh, that can be enhanced a little bit. Op optionally, with a mapping component, if you wanted to uh, find yourself on your neighborhood, you may want your uh, child care near your home, near your school, near your work. Locate yourself on the map, see all the child care centers available, pick them, and add them to your shopping basket, if you want to call it that. Uh, so there's an op opportunity there for some GIS interaction. Uh, that was easy. Uh, most important thing you need, uh, we weren't sure about the uh, market uptake of this, and it may be challenging to, uh, because it's difficult for operators to manage, uh, particularly the, the completion of the transaction. You might have somebody who says, yeah, I want it three days a week, and another person says, okay, I'll take your two. The operator commits, says, okay, you can have your three, the other person never shows up. Mm -hmm. So some kind of broker, or we couldn't find the right word for that, somebody to uh, complete the transaction securely. You don't want to be putting the children's names, ages, and birth dates up on the internet either. So you need some kind of general way to create the query, but somebody trustworthy to complete the transaction with the details. So that, that's going to be a real challenge for us, I think. Uh, so security, privacy are big, and that facilitator piece. You need some kind of contract, I think, and the way to start this process, I believe, is to get out there, talk to some of these groups, old-fashioned requirements gathering stuff, um, make sure that this business problem is valid and is valuable to somebody. Right. Great.